Hi everybody, I am that nursing prof and welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are talking about Rogam. So let's get into it. So first of all, Rogam, also known as RHOD immunoglobulin for the human. It is composed of human plasma, IgG antibodies. And because it's made of this, it can cross the placenta. But that's a good thing, we want it to. So what does it do? What's its purpose? Is to prevent the antibody response and then subsequently prevent hemolytic disease of the newborn in future pregnancies. So this is intended for RH negative women during pregnancy. So if you are an RH negative woman and you are pregnant with an RH positive fetus, your body is going to have an immune response for it. It's going to make antibodies against that. Now in your first pregnancy, it's not going to affect it. But subsequent pregnancies, it will. Your body will attack that new fetus. So this is given to prevent that from happening in future pregnancies. Some side effects of this, pretty much the same of any injection. Injection side effects like pain, swelling, redness at the site of injection, and a low-grade fever. Um, and this is safe for breastfeeding women to use. So sometimes new moms, postpartum, right after delivery, will get this medication as well. And they worry like, oh, is it going to uh, mess with my milk? It's not. It's safe for breastfeeding women. So when do we give Rogam? We give Rogam to an RH negative mom in the following situations. So within 72 hours after delivery of an RH positive baby, at 28 weeks gestation, so doing it during a prenatal appointment as a preventative measure. Anytime there's any kind of bleeding during the pregnancy, and that could be from an ectopic pregnancy, a hydatiform mole, abrupto placenta, placenta previa, any condition that can cause bleeding during pregnancy, you should get Rogam after. If you have a loss, whether it be an elective loss or a miscarriage, they're still bleeding with that, so you need Rogam. If you have certain prenatal testing done, so chorionic villus sampling and amniocentesis, you're going to need Rogam after those. And if you get a blood transfusion and they accidentally give you RH positive blood when you are an RH negative person, then you're going to need Rogam after that. Some nursing interventions when it comes to delivering Rogam. First, this is an IM injection, and the preferred site is the deltoid. Some places will have the patient sign a separate informed consent, and some places will have it on your um, electronic medication record, and that's considered um, informed consent when they agree to the med. Some have you actually sign a paper, so that's going to depend on where you work. Of course, we need to educate the patient about the purpose of this. Why are they getting it? There are some special considerations. There are some groups who do not want um, things made from other humans, right? Blood products, plasma. Um, an example of this might be Jehovah's Witnesses. So they might refuse this medication, so that's something to be aware of. And then this should only be given to an RH negative patient. An adult patient, I should say that. This is not something we give to the baby. So if the baby is born and also happens to be RH negative, okay. But we're not going to give that newborn baby Rogam. It doesn't need it. This is only for the mother. This is only for the pregnant person. So that was my video on Rogam. I hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. And if not, I'll see you on the next one.